Spiky bits. All right, I'm back with a look at the new flyer, the Sun Shark Bomber slash Razor Shark uh, Strike variant. It's got a lot uh, going on with it here. Obviously, uh, there's been some line of sight issues brought up where you know the quad ion cannon can't quite see forward, or the uh, well, the bomb. That's for the bombing run. That really, you know, not a, not necessary. Twin linked uh, missile pod there. Network marker light. It's pretty cool stuff going on with these flyers. The one thing that that struck me, and we'll look at this instruction book in a minute. When I opened the kit, I was like, "Holy cow! This thing's kind of small." I mean, I think it's the same size as like a. I mean, it's a little bit wider than a Storm Talon, but it's about the same size as a Storm Talon. So that kind of caught me off guard there. Uh, you get a flying stand, of course. And there's actually an option in here to cover up the flying, excuse me, the flying stand uh, hole, which I thought was interesting because I'm like, why would you not take the flying stand? Oh, and these are the, the uh, little new nubbed uh, uh, flight sticks. Those actually go on the uh, interceptor drones that have the uh, rail rifles, or uh, excuse me, ion rifles. All right, let's take a look at the first uh, first sprue here now. Actually, let's take a look at the instructions first, because I kind of want to show what's going on with this thing. All right, so you got the instructions here, and basically you start assembling everything from underneath, underneath up, because you got these flip-out panels for the seeker missiles. Both versions of the flyers have seeker missiles, which is kind of cool, because um, they come with it automatically. So you know, you have if you have enough marker lights, you're gonna be calling down the calling down the thunder all over the place. Um, so you're just kind of building it from underneath the, most of the time, and then when you get to about here, you start flipping it over. You can work on the drone. The bomber has the drones. Uh, the fighter actually has some. It's like a, a extra jet kind of thing that goes right there. I guess because it has the afterburner rule or whatever. Uh, this bomb piece uh, for the pulse uh, pulse bomb. These actually turn. If you do it right, you can kind of stick it in there and kind of turn it according to the instructions, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, and then here's the piece right here, and I'll show it to you on. Uh, in here where you, it says you know you can either if you want to cover up the hole you can cover up the hole but I'm like well what you know in gameplay terms you kinda don't want to do that so I don't know that's gonna be an interesting thing to see uh, what else we got just kinda generalizations this is for the fighter those are the uh, jets I was talking about that attached to that drone part and that's pretty much it so let's take a look at the sprue so here's the Here's the sprue. Uh, this is the lower fuselage, obviously, where the uh, flight stand can go. Uh, a couple of wing panels, things like that. Here's the parts to make the drone. Uh, then you've got the flip-up seeker missile panels here. Uh, the parts to make the actual bomb system. And that's most of the notable stuff there. Oh, and here's the piece to actually cover up the... Uh, if you wanted to cover up the flying stem hole, I'm not exactly sure why you, why you would want to do that, but anyways. All right. Here's a look at probably how you're going to be assembling this thing uh, from the bottom here for a while until you get halfway through the instruction booklet. But let's flip that over anyways. Take a better look at it. So uh, here's the flip-up secret missile panels. Then you've got where the drones lock onto. Uh, a couple drone pieces here. you got your burst cannon that's going to go in the front for the fighter variant. Uh, your fuselage uh, support stems. Um, and a couple of engine, just general engine parts there. Nothing too crazy on this sprue. Yeah, that's what they are. This the engine compartments there. So, uh, it's an interesting kit. Um, very, it's, you know, like not, it's not very, it's kind of more familiar uh, to us. Like this design is more like a conventional, like, you know, like World War two prop plane kind of in my opinion but I don't know I, I think it's kind of cool looking and it does a couple different things obviously the uh, the problem being the line of sight issue with the ion cannon the quad ion cannon being here but I mean I guess you know if you if you come in you can you come in zoom in and you basically just pop kind of power slide and you'll get line of sight out the side here but I don't know it's just it's just very interesting very interesting con uh, concept oh and there's two different uh, cockpit pieces that actually uh, snap onto here depending on which version you're making which I thought was kind of cool uh, two different you know because obviously if you're a fighter you want you want the bigger uh, line of sight view bigger bubble and if you're just a bomber you're pretty much looking forward so whatever um it's a pretty neat kit uh, not sure how many of these are going to be seen 
play. I mean, you've got so much anti-air on the ground with the ground forces. I'm not sure if you're going to actually need these, but we'll kind of see how the meta goes. Anyways, I wanted to do this kit separate because uh, it's, you know, it's a new flyer and it's kind of cool looking. And there's a lot going on with it. It's got some moving parts and things. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to take a look at it uh, separately. And there's the back there. It kind of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about with the ion cannon. Hard, hard to get line of sight there, so very interesting stuff going on to flip up uh, seeker missile panels from right here. Anyways, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out. It's a new flyer. You know, it'll it'll be popular. So uh, that's it for this one. I'm MBG Rob Bear. Thanks for watching my uh, video on the new Tau flyer. Spiky bits.